Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm AD and in today's video we are going to be talking about my top 10 baby essentials as a new and first time mom. So if it sounds like I'm talking a little bit low, it's because baby girl is right behind the camera and we're starting to sleep train. And yeah, I finally got her down so I can do this video and I really don't want to wake her up. But the reality is she just might wake up while I'm recording so y'all bear with me but with that being said I want to jump right into this video so the first thing on our list is a co-sleeper as I stated at the beginning of the video we are currently sleep training and this co-sleeper bassinet let me tell you although we aren't where I would like to be as far as her comfortability with sleeping in the um, cold sleeper at night. This cold sleeper is like the best thing since sliced bread because it allows baby girls to sleep right next to us um, during the night. And she's the type of baby where she has to be close to her parents when she sleeps. Um, I don't know what it is. It could be the warmth. It could be... Um, a number of things but for her she has to be next to mommy and daddy when she's sleeping so this co-sleeper allows her to do that also if I hear her making any concerning noises during the night I can easily you know turn over and tend to her because there has been a couple of times where like she might choke and I don't know if it's her choking on her own saliva or what but there's actually been about two or three times where she's choked like or began to choke in her sleep and i was able to react right away and i feel like if it wasn't for that co-sleeper um that may not have been the case but yes get you a co-sleeper safe the next thing on the list is the napper so a napper is basically kind of like a co-sleeper as well um except it's not a bassinet you can put it in the bed you can put it on the couch it can go on the floor you can use it to change baby's diaper we actually put the co-sleeper inside of the bassinet to kind of give her more of some comfort and cushion but as i stated before like you can actually use the co-sleeper inside of the bed so like if it's nap time and say i'm going to have a nap with her because honey we do that over here sometimes when she sleep i sleep so well actually a lot of times when she sleep i sleep but if it's like during the day and we're just taking a nap i might put her in the, the little napper and i'll put the napper next to me in the bed and we'll go to sleep like that i don't know if i if i stated this already but i will have everything linked down below so that you guys can go and purchase these items if you see fit so the next thing on our list is the nested bean this is probably one of the best investments i have made since having my baby it's a little pricey not gonna lie it's like 49 50 dollars something like that but it's a basically like a um a sack kind of like a swaddle it is a swaddler but i the best way i can describe it is like a sack and i'll insert clips of everything so y'all can see these items but our baby was born prematurely and most babies you know have startle reflexes but premature babies startle reflex is super strong and hers is out of this world so a lot of times it's really really hard for her to go to sleep um if she's not swaddled or in our arms because of her startle reflexes this nested bean literally allows her to to go down to sleep without much hassle there's still some hassle because you know again we're trying to sleep train um she's gotten very comfortable with being underneath us but this swaddle has made it a lot easier to put her down for her naps and um at night so the nested bean i would highly highly recommend i haven't really tried well i take that back i've tried two other like generic type swaddle like pre-made swaddlers and i they they don't compare to the nested bean if i'm just being completely honest this video is not sponsored by the way all these um reviews and opinions are mine and are honest opinions okay so the next thing on the list is a sound machine as you can see like the first couple of items are all related to sleeping um again we're sleep training so 
these items are very vital and important for us in our sleep training so um, the sound machine I know a lot of people um, find the sound, sound machine to be a holy grail I'll be completely honest we do use it every day but I can't honestly put my finger on it or not I, like I can't say if um, this plays a huge role with her going to sleep um, but we do use it every day so y'all can probably hear it in the background I have it going now right now it's on white noise I find that she she likes that the most uh, it does have like lullabies rain noises i think it has wind noises like the ocean so it has a couple of different things and i want to say you can connect it to bluetooth so like you can put like your own different sounds on there but i haven't figured that out yet and i don't know if that's 100 percent true i just think that's the case but a sound machine is another item on our list that we do use every single day the next item on our list is the baby swing Um, I forget the name. I know it's by Graco, Graco, however you say. Um, again, all these items will be listed below. But this was actually gifted to us. Actually, all these items were, were off our baby registry. But we actually got this gifted to us after baby was here because we were having a hard time with putting her down at night and for naps and just putting her down in general. So my sister was like, you know what? Let me get you a baby swing. And I will say that I'm the baby swing and the... Um, bassinet the co-sleeper bassinet she likes to swing the most there are times where i literally can put her down in the baby swing for a few minutes because <laughs> we working on her y'all we, we still working on her but i can put her down for a few minutes and she'll sit there all calm and chill um but yeah it's really really nice it has a bunch of different functions it plays music it vibrates we actually haven't um played with the vibrating feature because it needs batteries but it does vibrate so i'm excited to see like how that works for her uh but right now we're just you know using the features that can be used when plugged into the wall because it does plug into the wall um so yeah i really really like the baby swing i was super excited when we got it and she seems to like it too yeah so i really do like the baby swing and she seems to like it as well it's also something that she can grow into Cause she's super tiny even still she was born four pounds she's only nine pounds now at two months so it is something that she can grow into and she seems to really like it um as of right now the next thing that we use pretty much is every day is her bobby now i'm gonna be honest i don't use the bobby um for its primary purpose uh the bobby is generally used to breastfeed but of course you can use it for like tummy time and whatnot you can use it to have the baby sit up and that's generally what we use it for we use it for her tummy time and we use it for her to like sit up practice sitting up in she's still really small but um we do practice these things every day so yeah get you a bobby i feel like every every mother should have a bobby even if you're not breastfeed the next item on the list is a diaper pail Now, I know that this is kind of like um, one of those things where like, I, I think like half of the mothers in the world say yes and half of the mothers in the world say no. Me personally, I was told, you know, I didn't need it necessarily. And I feel like, you know, it's not a necessity, but it is nice to have. So we use our diaper pail every day. Uh, we have a small kitchen trash can and honestly and truly like it feels so fast already so for us the diaper pill works perfectly and you really can't like when she has poopy diapers you cannot smell the poopy diapers unless you open a diaper pill so that's a nice little feature too um but it sits in her nursery it's just so convenient it's right next to her changing table so you know it's very 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 convenient the next item i would say is a diaper changing uh Pad. now you can do like the the silicone peanut uh i'll have that link below i don't have that one but i may be switching the one that we have out for that okay she's fine but um 
I may be switching the one that we have out for the peanut because the peanut is silicone and it's easy to wash. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna try to make this quick because she might wake up again. Um, okay, so I was saying that the diaper uh, changing like pad that you put on the table is very, very nice to have. I have two. I have like the little Moses bassinet type changing station table thingy. It's very mobile. You can move it from one, one place to the other. And then I also have like the little gray one. I'll insert a clip of the gray one. Um, but I do highly recommend like the little peanut one. It's silicone. It's easy to wash. I will say that I've had a really hard time with the two, two changing um, table cushions that I have or whatever because they're cloth. So if she pees, throw up, poop on it, I have to wash it like immediately in the washer. I can't just like wipe it down really good. So I'm definitely thinking about changing to the silicone one. But um, yeah, I'll have everything linked below again even the the peanut silicone one so next on the list is the diaper caddy now i like the diaper caddy because again it's it's one of those items that's very mobile you could take it from point a to point b but it also has essentials so in my diaper caddy i keep her hair stuff yes i do her hair she's only two months but i do um brush her hair pretty much daily and I put coconut, baby coconut oil in it or baby coconut is the product on Amazon. I'll have that linked below as well. But um, I use that on her hair. And so I have that in her diaper caddy. I have wipes, I have pacifier wipes. I have her different ointments that she used cause she does um, currently have like a little rash. So she has a prescription ointment that I use that I keep in there. Um, I keep her thermometer, her nasal aspirator, things that like I use pretty often that I want to be able to locate and grab like right away and then last on the list it's my favorite item personally I do know that a lot of people don't necessarily use diaper ointment daily but I personally use diaper ointment ointment daily on our daughter because when she was in the NICU they were and I kind of just continued to do it when she came I continued to do it once she came home but I also really like it because it can be put on her entire body. So I currently use the Aquaphor Baby. And again, I use it for her diaper rashes, but I also use it for her entire body. Um, when her when she first got a rash around her neck, we were using that and it seemed to really help. We also use it as a barrier because um, she, was, she had like the raw neck syndrome. I don't know if it's a, I guess I shouldn't say syndrome, but she had raw neck, which comes from... Um, milk getting in between like you know all the crevices and stuff that babies have tend to have in their neck because my baby's super chunky she's small but she is chunky and she got about five rolls and that milk be trying to hide underneath those rolls so she ended up getting the bra neck um or whatever so during that time we were putting the aquaphor to act as a barrier between the milk and her skin to prevent her neck from getting even more raw and her getting an infection so those are my top 10 baby must-haves as a new and first-time mom you know it could change between now and a couple of months next month a year um but as of right now those are the items that we are literally using every single day Again, I'll have all those items linked below, so go ahead and check those out, and I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.